we're getting ready for our periscope. Okay, periscope world, we gotta snuggle Dana. Okay, periscope world, we gotta snuggle Dana. So you have to hand turn down your volume. So you have to hand turn down your volume. Which you still haven't done. On the side of your phone, you have to hand turn it down. You have to go down to zero. Oh, it started back up again. I wonder if Periscope has its own volume control. Where it's overriding mm -hmm. the iPhone. Mm -hmm. hmm, I wouldn't put it past them. Okay, oh, we have a monitor now. I kind of like that. There's a tip. <laughs> There's a tip. So, we are Forest Home Media. We're located outside the Nashville area, and we are a home lifestyle industry PR and marketing company. Basically, what that means is we love any business that has to do with home, food, and garden. Um, right now, we I'll have to say we're primarily concentrating on home and garden. In fact, we have several projects coming up that tie in perfectly. We're working with the best of the best in Nashville, and we if you see Four Stone Media's name associated with the company, know that we really believe in them. We believe what they're doing. They're top of their game, and now we're getting the opportunity to show the world some of the great things they're doing, inspire others. We really love what we're doing. Can Nancy, you tell? Somebody <laughs> thinks you have an accent. Oh, do they? <laughs> I suppose it's Brooklyn. That's what I would guess. <laughs> yeah. So Dana and I, uh, Dana will continue to kind of monitor what your thoughts are. But the reason we're getting together today and the reason we're kind of taking a few moments to get started is so you all can join us. We will have to say, first of all, we're not exactly sure that morning is the best time of day to be periscoping, but we're super busy. Dana's getting ready to host a Kentucky Derby party, which will actually be um, a beautiful marketing opportunity for her business, her other business. Uh, she and her husband are Bella Tucker. Bella Tucker Decorative Finishes. We are a decorative painting company based here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, about once a year, we like to have a party and invite people over to kind of tour our home because we're always uh, going through projects at our house and we're always uh, painting something. So it's a good way for people to come see firsthand the kind of work that we do. And it works great as word of mouth because once you get like 40 or 50 ambassadors out there telling people what you do and people asking, do you know anybody that, that paints or do you know anybody that we do a lot of uh, cabinet repaints? Do you know anybody that does that? I have people tagging us on Facebook, people sharing our work. So it really is a great PR opportunity to bring people into our home yeah. and have them see what we do. What does your publicist call your home? Our uh, living portfolio, 3D, 3D dimensional, dimensional living portfolio. portfolio, because how many words can we use to describe the wonderfulness of your home, which by the way, has been recently profiled on what national publication? Uh, our front porch makeover was just on in This Old House magazine in the March edition. So. The print edition that was on the newsstand. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. As well as apartment therapy. Yes, apartment therapy and several uh, well-known bloggers also have done features on our house. But House thank Beautiful you, shared it. Oh yeah, House Beautiful and Country Living both uh, shared us and we have had oh. numerous, numerous profile uh, shares from Home Talk, which we love. Oh we yeah, love Home Talk. Love so. Home Talk, love Miriam. Okay, so let's dig on into Periscope. Now okay. we've kind of had our few moments to talk. Yep. Um, so first of all, we love Periscope. We were early adapters, got on day two. Yes. And um, we feel like it's here to stay. It's backed by Twitter, so therefore, you know, it's integrated. It's amazing. And we've actually been studying a lot of other folks that are on Periscope, but we've walked through a two-week commitment to determine, do we think Periscope's really worth it for PR and marketing? And um, so a lot of you out there are, you know, ambassadors for whatever you're up to and are sharing, you know, whether it's like Claire in Paris, who's, you know, showing what her, her rides look like when she takes you on tours, bike tours through Paris or whomever. We've loved the connectivity of this medium. And also, we're using these videos. And Dana, tell them what we're doing with our Periscope videos if they turn out well, because we've had a couple of had some sound issues. Okay, so um, when you're when you're broadcasting from Periscope, you want to make sure that you click the button or that you have in your settings the auto save turned on. Yeah. Because what that enables you to do is, uh, and it, it enables people to watch uh, the feedback or watch the playback. They can come in later, look up your profile, and replay your videos. But it also saves it to your camera roll so that you can repurpose that video for YouTube, for Facebook, 
for other marketing um, things you know that you're working on. And what we're doing on Forced Home Media is dot com dot com <laughs> is we're creating a YouTube channel just for our Periscope videos, so that you'll be able to go to our website and we're going to add a drop down menu where you can watch all of our Periscope videos that we're doing for ourselves, mm -hmm. that we're doing for you guys, and that we're doing also exclusively for our clients. So a great way to repurpose that content. So don't think about it as only, like right now we have 12 people online with us, but don't think about it as just 12 people saying it. You're creating, you're creating marketing content that you can use throughout your social media and on your website. And you know, the analytics on it right now is kind of interesting. And we follow Mark Shaw, who's in London, who is a major Periscope early adopter. And um, and I actually asked him this in one of his Periscope. He does it for like three or four times a day. In fact, if you don't turn off your notifications, Mark Shaw will wake you up at three in the morning if you happen to live in Nashville, Tennessee. But anyway, um, I, you know, yes, Dana made the point that you have so many folks live currently, but you'll go back to the, the actual drop down bar um, after your broadcast and it'll show 45 live viewers or whatever and so I think it's kind of interesting that we don't exactly I don't have a full understanding of the complete um, you know reach on Periscope so that's something I'm looking forward to so let's go right on into some of our Periscope tips that we've learned over the last two weeks and by the way when we go to our web when we go to our YouTube channel we've loaded this you're gonna see the Beekman brothers who actually won the amazing race who are out of New York City they're excuse me they're up from the upstairs State New York area and Sharon Springs. Um, we got to meet them at the Country Living Fair. We also interviewed the editor of Country Living Magazine, Rachel Barrett. We've taken you on a custom home tour, a, a tour of a custom home that one of our clients has built. We actually showed you the builder's home. So we're really excited about that one. What other peers? Um, oh, on the steps of the Ryman with Lucy Inspired. Yep, uh, we broadcasted live several times from the Country Living Fair that was just here in Lebanon. So we have basically, you know, everywhere we go, we have our iPhone. So why not turn that into an opportunity to broadcast and save that video content for later use? So, so the selfie stick, which, you know, I know a lot of people make fun of, but I have to say it's something that we're using right now. If you could see how we set this up, <laughs> you would really be laughing because it's in a strange little bucket. But anyway, on the selfie stick, I, you know, I don't have, haven't wanted people to think we're taking the world's longest selfie. Like, really, how many photos can these girls take of themselves, a house, or whatever? So I'm actually attaching this with Velcro on the back. To, so what, whoever's operating the camera has this. So the people that are walking behind you, which was great at the Ryman, saw that we were doing a live Periscope broadcast. Although we'll have to say there's a lot of drinking going on during that broadcast, not by <laughs> us. Uh, and people wondering what the heck Periscope was. Here's another thing that I did with the Beekman boys. It's actually um, a little hazy, but when we're when we've got somebody on and they're on Periscope or Twitter or whatever, we're trying to put their social media media handle so we can not only be showing you what we're up to, but to cross promote that person's channel. So we found that very helpful. Also, and we won't say this out loud, but uh uh. Read it, and we love them, we love them. We're not sure exactly what it all means with the hearts, but we know that during the Ryman, uh, a friend of Lucy's got 1,200 hearts for that broadcast, one individual person. That was amazing. And thank you for the people that have shared this broadcast with their friends. And if you don't know how to do that, if you're looking at your screen and you see a little number and a little head, if you click on that or tap that, it'll give you an opportunity to share the broadcast with your friends or with your followers. Tap that. We would love for you to. <laughs> we love those hearts. So... Um, all right, so let's get on to some of our other things. So we've been very concerned about an external mic. We ran into this. So contemplate when you're outside and you're getting a lot of wind, or contemplate when you're in a really high building. That at the Country Living Fair, we were in several very tall buildings. We're going to get back with you later on that, but right now we are playing around with some external mics, and uh, there are a couple of YouTube tip videos on it. We haven't really solved that yet, but uh, that's coming soon, something we're going to do. So, all right, so it, another Periscope 101. As you were putting down the title of your Periscope, We've all been very extremely careful to hashtag it. We hashtag Nashville. We hashtag our business, Forced Home Media. But we, and we also put the at, so we're, you know, um, connecting with whomever we're broadcasting with. And this one, I, I cross-promoted Dana Tucker, her Periscope profile and Twitter profile. But how many times have we been writing down that title? Screw up the screen, we lose it. So as soon as you get kind of what you want, 
copy that information immediately, and then you can go back and you tweak it. But that was one real quick lesson we've yes. learned where we, we've, we've messed around with it, and all of a sudden it's gone, and we're starting all over again. So mm -hmm. that's a quick, fun little thing. Mm -hmm. so physically turn down the volume on your phone. You may think you've turned off your ringer. You turned it off in your settings. It doesn't override, and you'll hear, as we did in the beginning of this broadcast, you've got to manually turn it down on the side of your phone. Um, I was listening to the Periscope update yesterday from Periscope headquarters out in California, and I don't know if anybody saw it, but they're working on where you can, once you flip it, as we have done, they've got it where the image will be mirrored. So I was just watching when you mine? had your visual aids up, and I think it's Correct. Oh, they've already done it. Yep. Okay, good. So. so there was a Periscope uh, update yesterday, so be sure you go into the App Store and update your Periscope uh, app so you can get that. Also, they're supposed to have done, and I haven't checked this yet, where when you go back to your profile name, um, it should ca and when you look at yourself on Periscope, it should categorize all your recent broadcasts. So we're really excited about that. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. Also, you should be able to change your profile picture. That was another thing that was really annoying people. Another tip is when you're actually gonna sign up for Periscope, and we've tried to cover this in other mediums, before you get a Periscope account, and duh, you already have one if you're watching this, but <laughs> Brent from the Bigman Boys uh, Periscope account was his llama. And I meant to look up the name of that llama, but it's like, whatever, it's like, it's the funniest little name, but that's now his Periscope name. So if you have multiple Twitter accounts, and just imagine it was like, oh, I can't even think of it. It's the funniest name. But uh, anyway, if anybody happens to know the name of, of the Beekman Boys Llama, feel free to chime in on that. That'll be our trivia of the day. But anyway, it was the name of his llama. So you want to, when you sign in to Twitter, be sure you're signing in with the account that you want to use on Periscope. That's just kind of a quick tip. Things are going to continue to follow and change. This is an emerging technology, one of the things I always like to say about Periscope, and we're kind of loving it. Um, oh, be sure you do have a good bio. Be sure you have information on there. Why would anybody want to follow you if they don't know what you're talking about on your Periscopes? So be specific in it, and I always like to end with my, my website. I do that on YouTube as well. Whenever we put a video, website's the first thing we put on there. Um, okay, you can also uh, only allow the comments of people that follow you. Say, and we haven't run into this thankfully, but that you get a lot of people coming in and spamming you or anything inappropriate. Country Living had actually had their set at the beginning on Friday of the fair. You want to talk? a little bit more about that. Um, they were broadcasting uh, live with a uh, pencil and paper company, which is Jen Soar and her husband. And I'm a big fan, and I was trying to chat with them while they were broadcasting, and they had their chat set for only people that they followed could participate in the chat and that was kind of frustrating and it's it's actually a really simple mistake that you can make when you're launching your broadcast it's one of the four check boxes that they give you as options when you're launching your broadcast so if you click that chat box it's 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 restricting your chat to only people that you're following and in most cases you don't want to do that so don't check that box Right, particularly if you're a brand. And I'm really proud of what Country Living's been doing. Um, actually, Carmen Johnston, who is a contributing garden editor for Southern Living, um, that's about all of our livings. Yeah, all of our livings, um, has been doing a lot on Periscope. So you need to check her out at Carmen Johnston. Um, she was doing a photo shoot for fall and did a great ton of Periscopes that would still be live from yesterday. So, um, a lot of people are really embracing it. Who are some of the people you've enjoyed following on Periscope? Mashable. Mashable. Yeah, Mashable rocks. Good tips. Way to go, Mashable. We love them. Um, you know, I would say that right now it's kind of like the wild, wild west of Twitter <laughs> because uh, we're, we're just really have the early adopters that are on here. So uh, one of my tips is um, I'm always looking for people to follow on Periscope because it is kind of, you know, really, really new. So what I do is I go to my followers and see who they're following, see who's following them. And this is why it's so important to have your profile bio filled out because as I'm scrolling through their followers trying to figure out who would be good for me to follow, if they don't have information on who they are and why they're relevant to me, then I'm not gonna follow them. If they just have their name or if they just have their website, or you know, tell me who you are and why I should follow you in your bio. I agree, and um, so let's talk about famous people for a minute. Um, Emma Jean Lloyd Webber, who's Andrew uh, Lloyd Webber's daughter, 
Hey, uh, I'm having so much fun following her. She's been doing a ton, ton of stuff on Broadway, uh, red carpets. They're, they're like 36 shows that are now with the new season of Broadway that's just launched. And she's been to like 35 of them. So it's been fun seeing her from the red carpet. She actually broadcast this morning from Fox News in the basement with uh, before she went on the Don Imus show this morning. So it's been fun watching that behind the scenes. Who's your favorite? Um, Ellen DeGeneres. Yes, love Ellen. She's Ellen. having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And, and I saw something the other day about a lot of celebrities have really kind of jumped on this because it's a great way for them to interact or, with their fans or at least – Give a little slice of life of what it's like to be them, and it's really been a good thing for them. So, I hope he doesn't mind me quoting him, but I was with the former editor of Southern Living, Lindsay Bierman, at dinner um, with my favorite PR colleague from NYC, Jen Z. Holla, Jen. And um, <laughs> Lindsay said the funniest thing. It was a couple of years ago, and Instagram was just becoming so prevalent. And by the way, we love Instagram. Um, it was hilarious because Lindsay said, if I had to stop one more editorial meeting to discuss my new uh, strategy for like a social media, that he, it was so frustrating. So we get a lot of questions like, what do we think is going to happen with this particular, is it going to be a fad? And, you know, we saw that with Ella a little bit. We hate to talk about uh, any social media. Mm -hmm. It maybe it works for whatever segment of the population, but... Well, here's the thing that Periscope has going for it. It's backed by Twitter. Yes. So it has the power of all of the millions and zillions of people that are actively on Twitter every single day. So this is not going to go away. And the other thing that it has going for it is that it's video. It's live video. And we all know that this is the year of video. Video is king. And everybody needs <clears> to be <throat> creating video content in some form or fashion. And this is a really super easy way to do that and be relevant. Well, and they've said, you know, and we've been doing this with, with our clients, um, as part of our strategy for 2015 is to engage more with video, but also to have conversations. Um, you know, it, this is what I've always thought about Twitter. As long as celebrities are taking to Twitter to announce things, as long as live and important world events like, you know, what's been going on, gosh, in so many places across the Middle East, um, Twitter is going to be relevant. Um, Periscope is going to be relevant. They've been doing some, a lot of stuff with the Baltimore riots. So it's been very interesting. There actually been a lot of scary things that have been on there so far. So, And actually Periscope, one of the other things that they were talking about yesterday is would they take down content that's not uh, appropriate? Oh, and there's that, that huge fight that's coming up tomorrow. So Mer uh, Mary Weather and somebody. Okay, so yeah, it's a really <laughs> big deal. We're big boxing fans. And it's a guy with a name that starts with a P. But anyway, uh, the, the Hockey League, the NHL, has banned any periscoping. So what happens is that brand can contact Periscope and say, take this down. So I think that's going to be very interesting for concerts to also see if Periscope will reach in and be able to pull down those broadcasts. And I, I, and I think actually HBO has also reached out to Periscope as well. So I can see that continuing to be a trend. I've actually got to talk with Kind of Blue Music CEO, the label head, about, and, and she represents Kevmo, about what they're going to do and how they're going to engage it. And they've actually already started engaging it. So I think it's been really interesting to see what, you know, Who's embracing it? Um, the music industry is so beleaguered by content being out there. Who? How do you wrangle that? You know, how do you engage it and use it to your good? So, some other things that Periscope said are coming soon. They're going to be organizing by language, so you'll no longer see, you know, those Arabic broadcasts, which we really can't read, those Russian broadcasts, which we really can't read, um, showing up in your feed. So, I believe that that's that's also on there their um, agenda. Landscape will be coming soon and Android will be coming soon. So you can engage Periscope. That's another thing that's not showing up in all the analytics. You can engage Periscope via the web and your laptop if you are not on iPhone. So that's another thing to consider as well. So yes, in conclusion, we think it's broad reaching. We think it's worthwhile. Um, and we're going to be doing more of it. We probably won't be doing as much daily because we have quite a few other things going on, but we think Periscope is definitely a worthwhile opportunity in PR and marketing. And we, you know, as our clients become more comfortable, and we've already done it with a couple of them, we'll continue to give them that opportunity to yeah. engage. Yeah. Any other major tips that we've missed 
that we wanted to talk about? Um, I would say that um, one tip that I have for you is when you're launching your Periscope broadcast, don't launch right into your content, the meat of what you're going to say. Give your uh, followers a chance to get logged on because not everybody's going to hop on immediately. So maybe do an intro, um, talk a little bit about what you're going to talk about, and then restate it again, and then launch into your content because you're going to lose you know, the people hearing your content if you launch right into it. It takes a minute to, for, to get your people on board. Sorry, I'm laughing at my finger. You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> She's over here giving us hearts. That's another good tip. Ask for hearts because somewhere in the Periscope formula, hearts are going to be important in terms of how they're ranking you and how they're showing your broadcast. So ask for hearts and give hearts. Be generous with your hearts. What's Lizzie's friend Laura's name? Because 1,200 <laughs> during your broadcast Laura, is 6-minute Laura did good. Okay, yeah. Shout out to the ability for her to... You know, she's a heart of later. Yeah. So. Um, so. Yeah. So that's those are the tips that we have for you for Periscope. It's been a really fun week. Uh, we're two people that are normally behind the camera, and this week has given us an opportunity to be in front of the camera. So we're stretching our wings a little bit. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to do the same. Be brave. Be a pioneer. Be uh, an early adapter. And I think we're the people that are going to be successful in this medium. So here's what's coming up next for Forest Home Media. First of all, you can connect with us on Facebook, forresthomemedia.com, and it's only got one R in the forest. It's actually named for the historic section of Nashville that's right near Leapers Fork, if you happen to be familiar with the area. Harder later, be one. Okay, who have, did Carmen Johnson write that? No, that's uh Robbie. Oh, Robbie, kind of blue, music rocks. By the way, give them a follow. Um, and we have the Nashville Symphony Showhouse coming up in June. So we're very excited. We have two interns coming in next week. Oh, my gosh. I get a little covet thinking about summer interns. They're the best. Yay, yay. We're going to be teaching them a bunch from UT Knoxville and one from Sanford from Alabama. So we are really excited to have these communications kiddos coming in. And um, what? Uh, look for us tomorrow at my Kentucky Derby party. Yes. I'll be showing you around, showing you some of the styling and some of the food and some of the great hats that are coming to the party. Yes. Love that. So Dana's from the Kentucky area, so we're super excited about that. And we're sorry if we've missed your questions today while we've been doing this. We can multitask only to so much. So feel free to email us at nancy at Forstone Media or dana at forstonemedia.com if you have any other questions about it. We are blogging about this as well. So we've only gotten up one blog so far with about nine or ten great tips on Periscope. But engage us on Facebook as well. We love to share. And you can tell we're very enthusiastic about the home lifestyle industry. So, hey, Periscope World, we love you. You're here to stay, and so are we. Bye. Happy Derby Day. Yeah. Tomorrow. And average nas <laughs> national average white girl, Cinco de Nanso. Yes, to you and yours.